And even among young people aged 10 to 14, suicide is the second leading cause of death behind injury. And that's why Dr. Natalie Scanlon, a clinical psychologist at the Texas Tech Health Sciences Center, wants families to be aware of the potential warning signs. She says some clues are obvious, others are harder to read. First, some signs that a child is clearly reaching for help. If children begin talking about it, or some may draw about it, or write notes or other things about it, um, those are some of the more overt signs that we should be concerned and start to ask questions. But then she says the clues get more complicated. Parents need to watch for a change in mood, behavior, or academic performance, or even in their eating and sleeping patterns. If they start to show reckless behavior, or give away their belongings, or say they feel they are a burden to others. And in general, any loss, from the death of a loved one to a breakup in a relationship, can trigger in some children a feeling of hopelessness or even thoughts of suicide. Dr. Scanlon says if a child is showing any of the risk factors, one of the most important things a parent can do is start a conversation and not be afraid to use the word suicide when you ask about it. And we actually know from a lot of data that you won't do any harm by asking somebody about suicide. Um, you will open the door to honest conversation, maybe about the suicide or just about them struggling in general. If you fear for someone's safety, 911 is always an option, but the National Suicide Hotline is 988, and that's where you will find mental health professionals standing by every hour and every day of the year to answer calls and provide resources.